Hi, it's Jim from StarryHope.com, and I'm continuing today my little adventures with Linux beta support on the Google Pixelbook. Um, if you've been watching the other videos, you'll see that we learned how to install Linux on the Pixelbook and uh, played around with installing some applications. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this and more videos about Chromebooks and Linux. Um, today I have, I wanted to show you just a little something interesting. One of the side effects of being able to install, or one of the great things about being able to install Linux apps on your Chromebook is being able to try out different browsers. So I'm going to show you four different browsers that I installed today. Um, Firefox, Brave, uh, Opera, and Vivaldi, uh, and show you how they work on the Chromebook. So first starting off with Firefox which, as you can see, opens very quickly. It runs quite well. This is the Firefox version installed from uh, the Debian repos directly. And if we go to my site, it works really fast. Everything works just fine. Um, even some complicated sites, oops, CNET, works pretty good actually works really fast. So if you need features that are in Firefox or if you use Firefox Sync or something like that, uh, or if you just want to test out your website in different browsers, uh, Firefox installs quite nicely straight from the Debian repos. <clears throat> Had to do a little more work to get Brave installed since it's not in the Debian repos, um, but it still wasn't very hard. Uh, not now. And it doesn't work quite as well as Firefox, honestly. Um, it works pretty well, and it has all of its, uh, the features seem to work. Uh, a lot of people use Brave for its privacy blocking stuff, so it's blocked all these trackers and stuff and ads right away, which is really quite nice. Um, the other thing that, you know, you have here are private browsing tabs just like you would in Chrome. Recently they've added uh, private tabs with Tor and I have no idea if this works correctly or not on the Chromebook. I would not trust my privacy to this but it is interesting um, but I would definitely not trust it if you need privacy since it's a Tor beta on beta Linux software on the Chromebook. Also, you can see uh, it works a little weird. I just had to double click up there to get um, the bar to come back up here. Uh, so the integration isn't quite there yet, but it works pretty well. Um, Opera browser, I also downloaded and installed. And one interesting thing about that is that they have their VPN service and it works quite well, actually, right here on the Chromebook. So it's connecting to the VPN Let's see if it connects. When I was testing it out last night, it worked pretty well. Interesting. So as you can see, things are a little bit flaky still. Uh, but last night it was working quite well, and so I was able to use the VPN. So if you need to use something like the Opera VPN, you could try that out. I have no idea why else you would install Opera, honestly. I, I guess it has the WhatsApp app in here. Um, so that's interesting. I'm not sure how that works since I don't have a WhatsApp account. Um, oh, and it connected to the VPN. I don't know how to get rid of that. So you can see it connected to the VPN. And if I go to ipchicken.com, I can tell you that's not my IP address. So it definitely works. The last one I wanted to show you was Vivaldi. Again, I'm not really sure why you would use Vivaldi. There are a lot of Vivaldi fans out there. Um, personally, I don't find it to be all that useful, you know, more than Chrome or, or Brave, um, but it's an interesting browser and it works pretty good too. Yeah works really fast and nice so just like you would expect it to work on Linux or on Windows 
And uh, that's pretty much all I have to show you today. Just wanted to, to show you some alternative browsers. You can actually install some other ones like Epiphany Browser from the Debian repos and uh, text-based browsers. Uh, give me a, a shout out in the comments and tell me what you would like me to, to try out on this Pixel book and what browsers maybe you'd like me to try. A lot of people have suggested things about um, USB devices and stuff like that. As far as I can tell, the USB support's not quite there yet, um, but that's going to be interesting too to see things like scanners and, and maybe even other devices that you can plug into your Chromebook that you weren't able to use before. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down and please subscribe uh, so you can see more videos about Chromebooks, Linux, and all things tech. Thanks for watching.